so today i would also like to bust some myths that are commonly floating around social media and among patients about silk procedure and flap brace procedure so we all know that there are two basic types of procedures one is a flap based procedure known as a lasik lasik stands for laser in situ keratomelusis and the non flap based procedure which is also known as kelex so i'll just give you a brief overview overview that refractive surgery is basically of two types one is lasik as we all know laser in situ keratomelusis and the other is popularly known as k l e x kelex stands for kerato lenticule extraction that is in a lasik procedure we are making a flap on the cornea but the kelex procedure does not have a flap so if this is the cornea or the outermost layer of the eye in the lasik procedure we are firing a laser and we are making a flap on the cornea and this flap is later just picked up so this flap is picked up and then a laser is fired to remove part of the cornea to remove the bowel but in a kelex procedure if this is the cornea we are not firing a laser and making a flap on the cornea we are making a simple lenticule inside the cornea and this is then just removed through a very small incision that's it so this kelex was started in 2008 by a surgeon known as smile by a company called zeiss and then later into the market more machines have been launched one of them is silk silk stands for smooth incision lenticular keratomelusis which is by an american company johnson and johnson so the basic difference between the lasik and the kelex or also the silk procedure so if i compare the lasik and the silk what is very important to note is that in the lasik procedure we require two different types of machines with one machine i will form the flap which is picked up and with the second machine with the second laser i am going to fire one more laser to remove part of this tissue and once this tissue is removed this flap is put back so you must understand that this flap once it is lifted and it is put back it does not adhere very very well let's say you are into contact sports if you play basketball football judo karate or probably boxing and something hits your eye this flap can actually get dislodged agar zor se chot lage to ye flap jagah se hil sakta hai so you have to come back to your ophthalmologist and they have to place the flap back so there are certain flap based complications that occur only in a lasik procedure all these complications are not there in the silk procedure why because there is no flap on the cornea and also what is very advantageous in the silk procedure only one type of laser is required only one type of laser will form this lenticule inside the cornea and with a very small incision this lenticule is removed so it is very very easy it's it's similar to having an open abdomen surgery versus having a laparoscopic surgery in earlier days when we had an op- open abdomen surgery a big cut was made on the abdomen and the gall bladder was removed but now in modern world we have a laparoscopic surgery where through a small port of 3 mm the gall bladder can be removed similarly we can compare the lasik and the silk procedure where a cut this laser cut is 22 mm while the cut in the silk is just 3 mm there is a difference of 1/7 7 times larger in the lasik procedure follow planet lasik and post your queries to get answers from the experts